Hello and welcome back to another episode from Doing Outdoors. I'm Benj and I'm back up the land this morning and I'm going to attempt to start clearing the well out that's at the bottom of the hill. We plan to get quite a few more livestock on site so it's quite important that we have a reliable source of water. We don't have any mains on, on this site, no electricity, no gas, no water, but there are two wells and a borehole. So between the three, I'm hopeful that we're going to be able to supply ourselves with water. So today's task, get to the bottom of the well, or at least make a start. So the well that we're trying to get to the bottom of today is at the bottom of the hill. So unlike the well at the top that we've already dragged all the rubbish out and is dry, I'm hopeful that this will have water in it. It also, looking at the type of brick that's used in the wall of the well, I'd say this is quite a bit older than the well at the top. It's larger in diameter and like I say, it's in a better position. Don't know how deep it is, but there seems to be a lot of rubble inside. So I'm going to put my gloves on and get stuck in. So I've made a start, we're about half hour in to get in, into this well and I thought it'd be like the well up the top which was just rubble, big bits of concrete but mostly rubble of bricks and stuff. Some dirty person has used this as their rubbish bin, they've put bags and bags of household waste in here covered with a layer of bricks and rubble, absolutely disgusting. Why they choose to fill a well with their household waste? I haven't got a clue, but we'll keep going, we'll get to the bottom, all the rubble that I'm putting onto the side eventually we'll um, put in the trailer and we'll take it up the hill, break it into hardcore and uh, patch the road in where it's gone a bit soft over the winter and the rubbish, I shall get disposed off in the proper area. So we've got past all the rubbish, I'm now at a level of soil, so I'm going to go and grab a spade, get some bags, bag it up, try and get to the bottom again. I wasn't quite expecting what I found, all that rubbish. And it's all there from babies' nappies, women's clothing, and all the nasty food wrappers you can think of. Disgusting. Oh, and one, one thing. I found a temporary vehicle pass for somewhere, I think it's an airfield somewhere. It'd be nice to find out who this was signed out to last and go and drop these bags of rubbish back on the doorstep. Disgusting some people. Right, so that's about me done for the day. We've been here about four, four and a half hours. I've got to about five feet in one corner just to see if I can get to the bottom. We've taken a massive pile of rubbish out. We've got three bags of mud, loads of bricks and rubble. But after we got underneath the rubbish pile or the modern rubbish, I'll call it, the tin cans and stuff in there had a date of about 2011 so they've been in there 11 years just below that there was mud 
and where I've dug out in the corner, my little test pit, we got into some more bits and bobs. Found an old glass bottle. It's an old Esso oil bottle, I think. It's got to be from the 60s or 70s. I've never seen one. There's the bottom of it. It says Anglo American Oil Company. But oil in a glass bottle, I've never seen that. Whether there's something else in it, but we've also found quite a few of these old clay pigeons. I've not seen these before. Obviously, I've seen a clay pigeon, but not not this style, not this brand. So we're getting down to some different stuff. But the little test pit that I dug just shows more rubble. So I expect we've got to go quite a little further yet. If it's anything like the uh, well at the top of the hill, that goes down about three meters. So. If this is the same, we're about halfway. But I can't do any more today. So that's it from me today. I'm going to have to find some bags and bag up all this rubbish. But if you want to see us get to the bottom of this well, come back and watch episode two, where hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll find some treasure. After all, people like throwing money into wells and making a wish. So hopefully there's some gold at the bottom of this one. <laughs>